Okay, let's set up a hierarchy for date. All right. Um, once you pull in your date table, what you need to do is you need to create the hierarchy. So, and you create it from the parent down to the child. Uh, so you want to go from year, semester, quarter, month, uh, day, and the day is going to be the date key, the actual date key for the for the table, um, and you want to use the um, for the name for the naming column. You want to use the alternate date key, which really is just uh, the date key has no uh, delimiters, while the alternate date key has delimiters, so it's a little easier to read. It's a little more user friendly for the users. Um, of course, you could probably rename this too to um, to date, and um, so. Uh, so for month now month is uh, is the is an English name is, is the English for month it's not the number so that one we have to handle similarly um, in the month we have to have the name as the English month when the data is actually coming from the number of the month so and you can see that in the key um, Where's the key? Here's the keys. Okay, so um, you've got the uh, the month number of year, so that's like one through twelve, and that also gives us the order by. If uh, we don't have to set an order by, it's just going to naturally follow it because it's our, our, it's in the right order. Um, and then to make it unique, we need to add the calendar year, um, and this doesn't need to be in here. This is in here because of the way it was created. Okay, so it's just month, number of year, and calendar year. Okay, and uh, and of course the name has to be that English. Okay, and then for month we go to quarter, and so fiscal quarter of course, now that one can can have the same name as the key, so we just use fiscal quarter for the key and the name. But we, but it's not unique with just that. So we have to add the year and the semester along with the quarter, and we have to do basically the same thing for semester. We have to add the year in with the key and we have to name, give it the name for the semester, otherwise it won't know which one to use. Year stands alone, we don't have to add anything to it, we don't have to give the key, the year is fine all by itself. You can see this by looking at the data, if you look at the data, the year is just the year, it's not like some, some funny key or anything. And that's something you should definitely do, is, brow, is uh, go in here and uh, explore the data, is look at the data you're, you're dealing with and see what kind of keys you've got and what the names look like and all that stuff. Very good idea. Um, even go into uh, management studio, uh, SQL Server Management Studio and maybe write some queries and, uh, and see what the data looks like and see how it gets pulled back and see where the keys are and what's keyed off of what. Definitely a good idea to figure all that out. Okay, once you have this structure set up and you have the keys and the names set up, you also want to make sure that for all of these values, including the, the key, uh, the day key, you want to make sure that this um, attribute visible is um, is set to false. Otherwise, um, they'll be able to browse on the individual um, fields here and not just this. You want only this part to be visible. You don't want this to be visible too, so you have to turn that off. Um, and then you want to go in to the relationship hierarchy and make sure that um, let's go into this one that we're going from from the the child all the way up to the biggest parent so 
the way the arrows go. And uh, this is um, a this is called a balanced hierarchy, which, like a natural hierarchy, can use a rigid relationship. So you want to make sure that these uh, relationship type are rigid, which you can tell by the solid solid arrowhead. Um, once you've got all that done, you can do a, um, a process. You can process it, and then go into the browser and make sure that you do a reconnect and a refresh. And then you should be able to see your hierarchy here, and see we're not looking seeing any of the other subfields. It's just the hierarchy here, and um, this is built off of the fiscal hierarchy. So that means that it actually starts with July. It starts with the sixth month because um, the fiscal is 100, 180 apart. Um, hmm, what else is there? Um, remember, you can rename your hierarchy, so that's probably a good idea. Um, you can rename all these pieces, so like this should probably be, um, you know, just date. Um, and that's pretty much it.